SPUR stands for the Summer Program in Undergraduate Research. It is a joint appointment with the Whiting School of Engineering as well as the Applied Physics Lab. I worked in the Autonomous Control Division, and specifically working on implementing an architecture that allows us to you know, determine the optimal grasp for the modular prosthetic limb. The idea here is to restore um, human-like dexterity to people who have either lost their limbs uh, or for spinal cord injury patients who also cannot use their limbs. And our goal was to essentially minimize the cognitive burden that is placed on these patients. You're thinking, you know, that's the mug that I want. And then you allow the computer vision and the autonomous controls to figure out, okay, how is the best way for me to get to that object? And what is the best grasp to use based on the geometric properties of that object? The challenge of grasp autonomy is a very complex problem. And the problem becomes exponentially more difficult when you're working with a robotic arm that has a very high number of degrees of freedom. So I spent the first week um, evaluating different open source grass planners. But then during the integration process, uh, I worked on you know, writing code, modifying that algorithm uh, to fit what we thought would work best for the modular prosthetic limb. Having that much responsibility was a lot of pressure. There were m multiple occasions where I was stuck. Uh, but while I kept working on it, and in addition to getting help from a lot of you know very talented engineers at the Applied Physics Lab, we were able to figure out a lot of the, the difficulties. You know, spending time working with interns is an investment on your part too. But the Spur interns, they were very high caliber students. And I think Farhan's contributions were great. The Spur program was funded by the Hopkins trustee, Heather Murren, as well as her husband, Jim. I can't say how thankful, you know, I am because it's definitely kickstarted my professional career. And uh, I've been fortunate enough to have the opportunity to continue working at the Applied Physics Lab, uh, you know, as a temp on call. And knowing that the work I did this summer uh, will go to clinical trials, it will eventually improve the quality of life of someone at the end of the day, is, is a very powerful feeling.